one of the things that you're, you're focused a lot on at VMware is cloud smart. So right. I would love to ask you from your lens, yeah. sort of what do you think the key services are for enterprises and, and organizations that are trying to drive and deliver a cloud smart architecture? Yeah, yeah. So cloud smart is all about being able to run the workloads where you need for your business model, for to be able to be successful in business, to generate revenue, et cetera. And I think what happened in the past is we had a bunch of technologists like me that were like, hey, these are cool new services in AWS. I want to use that. Or the other technologist says, oh, I want to do an Azure or GCP. And all of a sudden we have this cloud chaos and this proliferation of applications and workloads and data everywhere. And when it's like that, it's very difficult to secure it because there wasn't a strategy, guardrails, an intentional path forward to doing multi-cloud. And so cloud smart is all about understanding what happened? Why does that chaos exist? And what should our intentional path forward be, right? So maybe I do use multi-cloud services. Maybe I want a multi-cloud security service or a multi-cloud observability or management service, or maybe I use single cloud services instead. Um, but that needs to be an intentional choice because I need to build my security model around that. Um, so in my opinion, you know, using one cloud is very difficult, right? To, to be able to get all the folks that have the talent and the skill sets to be able to leverage Azure or AWS or GCP efficiently is very difficult. When you expand to multiple clouds, then it's like exponentially more difficult instead of, you know, in a linear fashion, right? And so my advice is if you have picked a strategic partner partner um, as a cloud provider, such as AWS, such as Azure, such as GCP, if you're using the VMware platform in those locations or a different provider, try to standardize on as few services as possible as your organization is learning to secure these services, as the organization is learning to use them efficiently. And that way, even though you have a much larger attack vector, it's something that is manageable and under control versus the cloud chaos where we didn't have any of these guardrails and compliance and security things in place. You bring up a really good point. Uh, I think that almost every enterprise will be multi-cloud. And mm -hmm. so I said earlier, hybrids won out, but hybrid and multi are, a progression. And right. so companies start and saying, hey, we're going to start moving some workloads into public cloud. And then there's generally a euphoria period where we're going to do everything. And then it's, oh my gosh, we can't do everything. Right. And then it's, well, there's this cloud does this well, and that cloud does that well, and this prem solution. And it really does open the door for a company like VMware to play a really pivotal role, acting as a bit of an arbiter of all the, the necessary um, tools and capabilities and software to manage that environment. So it's gonna be really interesting to watch because kind of what you're saying is you need agility, you need flexibility, um, but at the same time, you really need the right tools, the right personnel, the right people, the right training uh, to make sure that you don't actually create a landmine in the, you know, in the process of trying to build a rocket ship, uh, whatever your enterprise is. So uh, Amanda, I really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me about Cloud Smart Strategies. Uh, security, cybersecurity, and, and the architecture and uh, services needed to become cloud smart. Well, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure speaking with you.